Let's share my opinion on which tier four characters are worthwhile and what I would rank them at and advice I have for using them. Uh, with anything, I, d I don't make a lot of videos. I mostly stream and I've been streaming for quite a few years now, uh, playing Marvel Future Fight. I don't know everything. I don't focus on every game mode. I don't have every character built. So I'm gonna share first hand experience combined with conversations with other individuals. So here's my generalized disclaimer. This is my opinion. This is how I view these characters. These are the characters I personally feel like you should build or not build. And if you disagree, share it in the comments because this game is largely opinion and data based. So if you don't have the data, have the opinion and you're just going off a general assumption from what you've seen or heard from others, it kind of skews your opinion to a certain degree. So again, if you have additional information, let's talk about it, discuss it. Okay, without further ado, let's go ahead and jump in. I'm gonna go through all the characters. I'm gonna give you my opinion on whether or not I think they're worth building, uh, where I see their value at, and their general ranking, in my opinion. I'm going to rank them either S, meaning they're meta in their valued fields, A, meaning they're really, really good, B, being kind of so-so, and C, just not really worth building. But hey, it's a tier four. Tier fours are going to be stronger than your other characters on a whole. Um, take it for what it is. So let's start at the top of the list with Hela. Hela's value, in my opinion, is in PvP. That's that's her biggest value. Uh Besides for PvP, I think she has some value in World Boss Legendary. You have to choose how you want to build her, though. Her latest uniform is good in World Boss Legendary, especially if you have some sort of a proc set up with her. She doesn't necessarily need a CTP, but she can do pretty decent in World Boss Legendary. If I was going to rank her PvP value, I would probably give her maybe a B, <coughs> maybe an A, because she has that secondary life option with her artifact, which you absolutely need. If you're going to go PvP, she needs her uniform, she needs her artifact, and she absolutely needs um, to have a CTP. If you're going to go World Boss Legendary, I think you could get away with giving her something else, but I would probably give her something closer to a B rank uh, as far as using her for World Boss Legendary. That's just my personal opinion. I think she's pretty good. I think she's worth considering. And uh, yeah, it just depends on your preferred play style. Rogue. Rogue's biggest value Right now, she is meta for ABL. She's also really, really, really good at World Boss Legendary. However, you do need her newest uniform, which is seasonal. You, in my opinion, need her uh, a CTP on her, like a Judgment or something. And if you're going to put her in ABL, you probably should put a Rage on her instead of a Judgment. If you're going to use her in World Boss Legendary, I think you can get away with a Judgment with her. Her value in ABL is S just for the simple fact that she is meta right now her value in World Boss Legendary, I'd probably put her either at an A or possibly an S because I still think she does a phenomenal job. She needs her Tier 4. I'm not very impressed with her Tier 3 level 80 at all, but I've seen enough content from other creators and hearing, hearing from other people in the community that at Tier 4 she really pops off. I have not seen this firsthand. This is based upon information from other players. I have not pulled the trigger on Rogue yet. Uh, Adam Warlock. Adam Warlock is probably one of the top meta PvP characters. And I think that's the only place he has value. I don't think he has value outside of PvP. You need his uniform, you need a CTP, and you need him built properly. But even if you don't heavily focus on PvP, I think you're still going to get some farming value out of him with that, uh, what is, not, it's not Timeline Battle, it's that other one. It's the, uh, oh, what do you call it? It's a thing where you have like five characters and it changes the team's battleground type thing. I can't remember the name of the game mode off the top of my head. I don't know why I'm forgetting it. My, my brain has just been a long day. Anyway, Adam is good. He's worth building for PvP purposes. He would definitely be an s rank character if you were going to use him for PvP. Wouldn't, wouldn't say he has value elsewhere. Ant-Man. In my opinion, Ant-Man is one of the characters that is just a C rank. I don't think he has value anywhere. Um, I've heard people say that he has decent World Boss Legendary Battle. I'm sorry, uh, World Boss uh, Legendary, yeah, WBL, World Boss Legendary uh, value as far as being able to clear content. There are better speed characters. There are better Tier 4 speed characters as well. So even Tier 3 characters, I think, rival him at his Tier 4. I don't think he's really worth building right now. So I think he's a skip, and I would rank him at C, and I would say he has no value anywhere. Black Bolt. Black Bolt got replaced in the meta, so he's no longer an S rank in my opinion. I think he's an A rank character. You need his seasonal Fallen Souls uniform to get the most out of him, and he needs a rage. I still think he has value in World Boss Legendary, which is why I'll still leave him at an A, 
And if you don't have some of the other characters, you could use him in AB modes. But right now he fell out of the meta for AB and mostly you're gonna use him for um, world boss legendary, I think. So that's, that's gonna be the spot you're gonna get value out of him if you're gonna choose to build him. Uh, Black Panther. Black Panther, I've had people claim he has world boss legendary va value, but I've not really seen any sort of value out of him from what I can tell. Uh, so if he is good, cool. Uh, I don't know if he is. If he's good, I might say he's a B character, maybe. Uh, because I don't know for sure, I would probably rank him at a C for his value in World Boss Legendary, but I don't think he has value really anywhere else. Black Widow. Uh, Black Widow has fallen off. She was former meta for AB, uh, then she got replaced. Uh, she be, was the best striker for ABX until Ghost Rider came along. Now she's the only she's the best option for Ghost Rider as a striker. So right now, all she has is striker value. Uh, she's not very good at World Boss Legendary, and, and that's kind of really the only value she has is that striker value. So unfortunately, she's a C-ranked character, so I wouldn't recommend building her right now. Blue Dragon, I mean, I've, I've heard mixed opinions on her as well, but as far as I can tell, she doesn't have a high level of value anywhere besides for maybe PvP. She has, there's a Warriors of the Sky PvP team uh, that is pretty budget-friendly. And I think she has some value there, but it's it's low value. So I would probably put her at a B rank, maybe. Uh, possibly a C rank, but I'd probably put her around a B rank. Cable. Uh, Cable right now is ABL meta. He has one day. Like Rogue has one day, he has one day. So he is ABL meta for sure. And World Boss Legendary, he can push really high. If you tier for him, give him his uniform, give him a CTP of Rage, he's going to push stuff for you. So I'm probably going to give him an S rank when it comes to ABL, and I'm probably going to give him an A rank when it comes to World Boss Legendary. I realize that that ranking system is subjective and people have different opinions, but generally I think he's worth building on a whole. Captain America, I would put in the classification of both Ant-Man and Black Widow. He's just, he's just not performing. I don't think he has value in any of the game modes right now. I've not heard people rave about him or talk about building him or be happy that they did build him. So in my opinion, he's kind of a skip right now. So I would put him down as a, a C rank classification with no value. Captain America Sharon Rogers, however, uh, I think her value is kind of one place and that's World Boss Legendary. So I think on a whole, if you want to push World Boss Legendary, she could be worth considering, but there are other options and she does pretty decent at a tier three anyway. Uh, you probably want to put an energy on her, CTP of energy. You definitely want her newest uniform. She is strong. Uh, but yeah, aside from World Boss Legendary, not really anywhere else. I might give her an A rank just because of how well she does do. When she pops off with an energy, especially Mighty Energy, she is going to tear stuff up in World Boss Legendary. So definitely give her an A rank for that value. Captain Marvel right now is AB meta. So Alliance Battle, she, has, she is meta there. And she's good at World Boss Legendary. I don't like the character much, but that don't matter. She's she's pretty decent. I think she's fine at a Tier 3, but I think she's still worth Tier 4 with her latest uniform. Give her a Rage, and you're going to be pretty happy with her because she's meta. I would say in AB, we can give her an S rank. And in World Boss Legendary, I'd probably give her an A rank. Carnage. <coughs> Carnage is a really strong character. I think you need his artifact. I can't remember what his artifact does off the top of my head. But if you give him a PvP artifact and his latest uniform, he really shines in PvP at Tier 4. He's very hard to kill. I have faced off against Carnages and just couldn't kill him with some of my teams. Granted, I don't focus on PvP, but I would probably... If he's not an S rank, he's definitely an A rank in PvP. But I think that's the only spot he has value is for PvP. Dr. Octopus. Obviously, we need his uniform and he needs Rage. He is meta in ABL. He is pretty underwhelming as far as general damage, but he is the best combat villain in the game right now, in my opinion. So I would probably still give him the S rank in ABL and ABX, just for the simple fact he can do... He has the high value of being able to do both ABX and ABL. He has a pretty easy rotation, and he does score reasonably well. Even though it's underwhelming, I mean, it's still a decent score, and I honestly feel like your count would need him if you're going to push AB. I don't think he has world boss legendary value. He's too squishy. It's kind of a glass cannon in a way. He just kind of dies pretty quick for me. 
and when he gets stuck in his rotations, he can't move around a lot. So I think his value is AB, and I think he's an S tier. Doctor Strange. I am really disappointed that he is not AB meta. He's my favorite character in the game. I won't go into this too much, so I'm going to try to be as unbiased as possible. So he doesn't really have AB value right now, unless you don't have Magneto's seasonal uniform. Um, with the same build, Magneto's going to outscore him in AB, but with a better build on Doctor Strange, especially with this team-up bonus, he can actually outscore Magneto. He does push my Magneto score pretty close. So he does have a little bit of value there, but not enough to really give him a high rank, especially with him not being meta. He might have maybe like an A tier rank for um, AB. I know GBR, we don't talk about it much, but I think he's one of the best clears for GBR. So if we were giving GBR ranks, he would have an S rank for GBR. And World Boss Legendary, any level I've needed to use him on, he walks through. Uh, so I would give him, I would give him an S rank for World Boss Legendary, at least an A, but I'd probably give him an S rank. Granted, he's my best built character and he does have a brilliant rage, so maybe my opinion is biased here as much as I'm trying not to be. Um, I've seen people build him for PvP and I've seen some value there, but I think he has more value in PvE. So I think World Boss Legendary is the main reason you would build him if you're going to. Gamora. Uh, Gamora was AB meta for a while. She replaced uh, Black Widow and Shadow Shell, but she kind of fell off. So now she's pretty much only has value in World Boss Legendary. Uh, and with her being alien, she kind of has a lot of restrictions. Because of that, I almost want to give her a B rank because of the restrictions. She does do really good. I have a couple other people I play with that have a lot of nice things to say about Gamora. I've seen her in action. She does do a fantastic job. She was very underwhelming for me at Tier 3 level 80, so I never pulled the trigger on her. Uh, but I think... In World Boss Legendary, she's either a B or an A tier character. Possibly an A tier if you don't want to account for the restrictions, but because of the restrictions, I'm probably going to give her a B, or T B tier ranking. Ghost Rider. Ghost Rider is ABL meta. I think he has an ABX day too. Uh, fairly certain he does, but no, he's, he's AB meta for sure. No question about it. He does incredible in World Boss Legendary, and he does GBR. He's kind of... A jack of all trades as far as PVE goes, even though I don't see a lot of value for him in PvP. I'm sure he could do it if he had to. He's just, there's better characters. Um, AB, I'm going to give him an S tier because he's part of the meta. And then for World Boss Legendary, I'd probably give him an A tier, if not an S tier. No, I'd probably give him an S tier. Yeah, I, I would give him an S tier in World Boss Legendary. Uh, Ghost Rider is absolutely worth building. You do need a seasonal uniform. You do want to put a rage on him, but he is absolutely brutal. Brutal, completely brutal, worth building. Hulk. Hulk's kind of fallen off a little bit. He's mostly PvP focused. Latest uniform, some sort of CTP. And he'll do pretty decent work for you. I'd probably put him around a B tier in any more for PvP. For a while there, he was really, really good. But I, I just I feel like he's more a B tier today with who's available as far as PvP characters go. Iron Man. Iron Man. His value is mostly farming. I think he has some world boss legendary value, but I really don't feel like he's kept up with the latest and greatest. So even though he was great when he first came out, like a lot of the characters uh, like Black Widow or any of the other first of their tier characters, he's kind of fallen off. Uh, so for world boss legendary, which is the only place I'd really consider using him, I'd probably give him a B rank. Jean Grey. Jean Grey is easily one of the top three meta characters with Adam Warlock in PvP. But she also has a lot of value in PvE. She's also one of those characters that can do really good in PvE with a PvP build, and vice versa. She can do decent in PvP with a PvE build. You need her latest uniform, Dark Phoenix, 100%. You need a CTP on her of some form, depending on what game mode you want to focus her on. But she's 100% worth building. And I would say S rank for PvP, S rank for World Boss Legendary, and if you wanted to talk about GBR, since I keep bringing it up, S rank for GBR as well. She is easily one of the better characters in the game. We are starting to get other characters with more power or equal power out close to her, but she's still one of the top characters in the game, in my opinion. Loki. I think the only value he has is World Boss Legendary. Um, I'm sorry. 
<laughs> is ABL. He doesn't do as well in World Boss Legendary, but he has some value there. But ABL is where he shines. He kind of replaced Thanos. Um, he's he's good, and he probably can push a lot of scores in both ABX and ABL. I've seen even on open days he challenged Gene's scores in ABX. Uh, he's easier to use on a phone than with a controller on a PC, but I still think he's worth building with his latest uniform and a Rage and a Tier 4. I mean, in AB, he's he's an S tier. He's meta. Uh, in World Boss Legendary, I think he's a little bit squishy and he's kind of hard to keep alive, in my opinion. Uh, so I'd probably give him a B tier, maybe an A tier in World Boss Legendary. Uh, but yeah, it's still pretty much worth building. Luna Snow, with her new newest paywall uniform and a CTP of Rage, uh, she's one of three characters I would almost always recommend giving a brilliant rage to she is 100 percent brilliant rage worthy and you would like her artifact but you don't have to have it but she is easily the queen of abl hands down the best abl character no doubt in my mind with ab game modes even in abx she is an s tier character hands down no question about it she has value in every game mode World Boss Legendary, she pops off in uh, GBR, she does as well. So I would actually make her an S tier in World Boss Legendary and in GBR. She is definitely worth it if you can afford her paywall uniform. Even without her paywall uniform, she's good at tier four. But you really, if you're going to invest in her, try to get her uniform if you can. If you can scrounge some money together, it's worth trying to get her. Magneto. Magneto would be the king of ABX, as Luna is the queen of ABL. Magneto, not only because of his leadership and some of the team-up bonuses he can do, uh, he is the second character that I would say is highly recommended for doing a brilliant CTP of Rage on. But putting a Rage on him, getting his seasonal uniform, Magneto is amazing in multiple game modes. Now, he does have some survivability concerns for me in World Boss Legendary, but in AB, 100% ABL, ABX, meta, S-tier character, easily. Um, in World Boss Legendary, because of some of the survivability issues, I might give him an A rank if I'm being really crude, but he could probably be an S-tier. Uh, GBR, he's an S-tier. Um, but yeah, he's a great character, definitely worth building still. Moon Knight. Moon Knight's one of those rare exceptions. He's one of the first combat tier fours, and he's still holding strong. I mean, he didn't fall off like some of the other characters did, in my opinion. But he's not amazing anymore. There are so many other characters that are rivaling him. Uh, it's kind of hard to give him a real high ranking. But he is still meta in ABX. I don't think he has an ABL day. I'm trying to think. I don't think he does. I know he has an ABX day for sure. Uh, but he's an S tier in AB because of being meta. In World Boss Legendary, I almost want to give him a B tier, but I think he's still an A tier in World Boss Legendary. Like, when I do use him, he's still clearing the levels I need him for, but I think he drops off, so he's probably a B tier. I want to give him an A tier, but I think he's a B tier in World Boss Legendary. GBR, he's kind of so-so in. Namor. Namor is not as good as Dr. Octopus, so he's not AB meta. I think Dr. Octopus outscores him, but he has more value in World Boss Legendary than Dr. Octopus has because he has better survivability. He also has some dispatch clearing uh, value too when you're trying to push your dispatch levels. Uh, so I would say for AB, I wouldn't give him a rank at all. Um, if I was going to, maybe a backup rank, like an A tier backup rank maybe. And then for World Boss Legendary, I'd probably give him an A tier, possibly a B tier, but I think I think he's an A-tier character because of his survivability and damage output. Easy rotation, too. Odin. Odin was meta for AB. He's fallen off, and Star-Lord's replaced him. But apparently a lot of people are still using him from some of the folks that I talked to. Uh, he is very easy rotation. He eats up world boss legendaries. He's still at least usable in AB. So I'm going to give him an A rank in AB because he's definitely a backup. Um, he only has one day in ABL, but still. Uh, he's got a you want his newest uniform, of course. You want to rage on him. Um, World Boss Legendary, I'd probably give him an A tier. Maybe maybe an S. He's got a lot of survivability pushes pretty hard, but I'm probably going to give him an A tier. I don't think he holds up as well as some of the other characters do, but I still think he has good value. Uh, Professor X. Professor X's value, in my opinion, is pretty much World Boss Legendary only. 
I think he does decent, but I think there are better options, especially for the classification that he's in. So I'm going to give him a B tier ranking for World Boss Legendary. And I don't think he has value outside of World Boss Legendary. And again, just because I don't think they have value doesn't mean you can't use characters like Professor X and AB. I just think you have better options. So I'm trying to be realistic. If they're not meta for AB, I'm kind of not mentioning much about them. Shadow Shell. Shadow Shell and Gamora combined replaced Black Widow for ABL and ABX. And they've both been replaced since, but they both had their own day that they could do better than her, where Black Widow was still doing better than the other one in the other game mode. But with World Boss Legendary, Shadow Shell is amazing. Even now, I think you're better off with other characters, so I probably wouldn't recommend building her, but I, th I think she's still a solid A. Maybe a B, but I think she's a solid A. But she, maybe I'm closer on the border between A and B. Maybe not as solid of an A as I think so in World Boss Legendary. Her poison immunity alone makes her a breeze. I've always used her with a 200 proc poison obelisk, and she still flies through World Boss Legendary game modes for me. I can only imagine her at Tier 4. And I've heard rumors of how she is at Tier 4. And yeah, I think she's still a solid choice. Uh, next, Spider Gwen. This is why I don't recommend Shadow Shell or Gamora anymore. Spider Gwen is better than both. She's better in AB, she's better in World Boss Legendary, and she's probably the main reason why I would knock Shadow Shell down a rung in World Boss Legendary. Because if Luna's an S tier, Gwen's an A tier, Shadow Shell and Gamora would then be a B tier in World Boss Legendary, if we think about it like that, because I think she's a step above the others. In AB, as I would mentioned in AB, I don't think she's meta in any way and there's better characters like Luna so I don't know if I can give her a ranking although I have heard people use her maybe give her an A tier and AB as a backup character because she is still solid uh, so if you don't have some of the if you don't have the paywall uniform for Luna who else do you use probably Spider-Gwen that's what I'd probably recommend as a tier 4 Spider-Gwen if you can't get a tier 4 Luna uh, but World Boss Legendary she's, she still pops off pretty well Spider-Man a uh, little side story. I really wanted Spider-Man to be decent in PvE. I'm sure other people did as well. I gave him a rage, gave him a tier four. He's just not meant for PvE. He is a PvP character, and he sings in PvP. I think he's one of the top five characters in PvP. I don't know if I can give him an S rank because of some of the other characters that are out there. I will probably give him an A rank in PvP, but he's still really, really, really good in a lot of different PvP game modes in the game. Uh, so if you like PvP, he's worth building. Miles. Miles is world boss legendary. That's the reason you use him. I think that's the only value he has in the game. I don't think he has value elsewhere. He does have a self-leadership, can be double supported. He has leadership ability, so White Fox will work with him. And for restricted days, he will walk through content. I think he is one of the better speed characters that can be tiered for it in the game. Uh, this is one of the reasons, like I was mentioning earlier, even with Ant-Man, like Ant-Man was like early stuff, got replaced by multiple characters that are speed, and specifically with male characters, both Spider-Men are better than Ant-Man uh, in PvE. Uh, Miles is really where it shines. It took a while to get used to using him. He needs to run around a lot to avoid getting killed, but when you pop off his rotation, he does have the damage. He's worth a judgment CTP, and you need his latest uniform. I would probably give him... I think he's another one of those characters that's kind of like an A, B, somewhere somewhere in between A and B rank for World Boss Legendary. I've had people compare him to Sharon Rogers. I probably am going to give him an A rank in World Boss Legendary, in my opinion. Star-Lord. Uh, we know that Star-Lord has leadership and double support options in ABL, Alien Universal Day. So he, he is the meta. He is the meta over Odin. He replaced Odin. But he's kind of one day. I've never heard of people using him in any other game mode or speaking great about him. I don't think he does fantastic in World Boss Legendary, so I think his value is AB only. He is meta, but I'm almost reluctant to give him that S. Uh, but you know what? He's meta, so he is an S rank in AB, specifically ABL, and I really don't think he has value in other parts of the game. Storm. I love Storm. Such a great character. Such cool power set. But she's been replaced. For the combination, two different days, Rogue and Cable replaced her in ABL. Even when she was in ABL, just like 
other characters being one of the first that came out of the blast tier fours she's she was underwhelming she was very underwhelming um storm black widow iron man uh moon knight still holding pretty strong but i think storm is just underwhelming and in world boss legendary she can kind of push but she gets squishy the further you go along she just doesn't have the survivability so i think she has low value in world boss legendary and she no longer has value in ab maybe backup value because you can use her for both days that cable and rogue can do but cable and rogue are the s tiers so she's maybe an a tier backup for ab uh, world boss legendary i'd probably give her a b tier I just don't think she's worth building anymore. I think she's pretty much been replaced at this point. And you do need her paywall. I'm sorry, not paywall. Uh, seasonal uniform. I don't think it's paywall, but it's a se- yeah, it's a seasonal uniform. No, she's not paywall. Thanos. Thanos, with his latest uniform, the Harvester, became PVE meta for a while. And then he got replaced by Loki. So tier four, he kind of got replaced. So maybe an A tier for AB, specifically an ABL. Um... World Boss Legendary, he does do pretty solid still. I'd give him an A tier for World Boss Legendary. He's got a great amount of survivability, can take a beating, and keep keep on going. So, yeah, I, I think he's a pretty solid choice for World Boss Legendary. He's very expensive, though. GBR, I kind of think he sucks at. So I think those are his only real value right now is World Boss Legendary or backup for AB. Thor, another character that I really like. Awesome character. You need his latest uniform. You need a rage. You could use a judgment on him. He's one of the characters that can use a judgment, but he got replaced. He got replaced in all the AB modes. I don't even know if I'd give him an A tier ranking as a backup at this point. Maybe a B tier and AB as a backup. Uh, Possible, yeah, yeah. No, I'd have to give him a B tier just because there's people that he was replaced with that got replaced. Um, in World Boss Legendary, he does really solid. He's squishier than Odin, and Odin's better than him. So I might even give him a B tier in World Boss Legendary. I don't think the water's really worth building anymore, unfortunately. Venom. Venom, I don't think, really ever shined anywhere. Uh, he came out, and Moon Knight was pretty much still better than him. I've had people argue that Venom did better, but I don't think he ever really did. I haven't seen enough data to prove that, so I think Venom's kind of a hard skip. Tier 3 level 80, he's pretty good. I mean, he's good for what he can do. I mean, any of the level 80 characters are pretty decent, but... He's just very underwhelming, and one of those characters just wasn't worth really tier fouring, in my opinion. Uh, so I don't know if I can give him a rank anywhere. I wouldn't use him in World Boss Legendary. I don't use him in AB. He's just kind of kind of a dud when he came out, kind of like Captain America. So if we're going to give him a generalized overall rank, I'd probably give him a C tier rank. I just think he's one of those C characters. Uh, Wolverine. Wolverine is probably one of the top three PvP meta, in my opinion, with tier four, with his artifact. His artifact can be kind of hard to get, but if you have his artifact, you have a CTP, you have his latest uniform, he's definitely going to give people a run for his money. Um, probably not as good as... A- he. Well, I would say he's definitely not as good as Adam or Jean. I think he's a little bit better than Spider-Man, and I think he is either on par with or better than Carnage in PvP. So for PvP purposes, I'd give him an A rank. Maybe a B, but probably an A rank. So there's my extremely long video walking through all the different characters that I have or that you can have in different AB modes. Um, Hopefully that is useful to you and helpful. Uh, Again, share your opinions below. I said I would show you my characters now so you can see who I decided to build. Uh, So the characters that I decided to build at Tier 4 at the top besides for Shang-Chi. Shang-Chi, of course, these are my top three favorite Marvel characters. Ever since I was a kid, I've been reading the comic books with these three in them, so I have them all starred. Uh, But Doctor Strange, Magneto, Adam Warlock, Odin, Jean Grey, Storm, Doctor Octopus, Moon Knight, Black Widow, Luna Snow, Spider-Man, Black Bolt, Ghost Rider, Loki, Thor. Those are my Tier 4 characters. I haven't tiered for anyone else. I do have enough for another Tier 4, and I am considering either Rogue, Cable, or Wolverine. Uh, Cable and Wolverine would give me a team-up bonus for the last stat for the team-ups because I do try to work on these team-ups. As you can see, I've got 10 out of 10 with uh, Midnight Suns. Sinister 6 here. I have one more that I need to do. I'd have to tier 4 Venom, and I don't know if I want to do that. (laughs) And then for (coughs) X-Force, I could tier 4 Wolverine or Cable, so I would get that last ranking in there. So that's tempting. That's tempting because that would, of course, empower both 
Cable and Storm. Uh, Wolverine would also give them the power, but Cable has World Boss Legendary Days and a ABL Day, although he might get replaced soon, so we're going to wait till the next update. So I'm not sure who I'm going to go with. Um, anyone I regret tier 4 I do not regret tier 4 my Doctor Strange. As mentioned, he's easily my best built character in the game uh, with all sorts of goodies on him. So, yeah, he's just... Really, really, really good, solid build. Really good character. He does the work I need him to do. I do not regret him. Magneto, easily one of the meta characters for AB. Adam Warlock, just to make it easier for me to do PvP since I don't focus on it. Uh, Odin, even though he kind of fell off, I don't regret it. I got good use out of him while he was usable. Jean Grey is still really, really good. Storm just fell off. I kind of regret Storm a little bit. Just a little bit. If I would have waited, I think I'd rather have Cable and Rogue right now than Storm. I do like the character, so I did it anyway. Dr. Octopus, do not regret. Moon Knight, I don't regret. Black Widow, I don't regret. Um, she was a first tier four speed character. I got really good use out of her, and she was a great striker for the longest time. Now I don't really use her anymore. Um, if I could cash her in to get someone else as a tier four today, I would, but I would not go back in time and not tier four her. I, I had got good use out of her. Luna, do not regret. Spider-Man, I kind of regret. Even though he's good in PvP, I think I'd rather have Wolverine tier 4 right now than Spider-Man. I was just really hoping he would be usable. Black Bolt, I don't regret. Ghost Rider, definitely don't regret. Loki, I kind of regret a little bit. I mean, he's definitely better than Thanos. But I'm not sure. I just He's kind of underwhelming for me. And he's kind of a pain in the butt to play, especially my controller on PC with an emulator. Uh, Thor, I don't regret. Um, yeah. I think with some of these other characters, I'm never going to tier 4. Well, not never, never, but not on my list. Hella, Captain Marvel, Miles, Ant-Man, Star-Lord, Iron Man, Captain America, Sharon Rogers, Venom, Hulk, Captain America, Black Panther, Professor X, Namor, and probably Thanos will never be on my list. Carnage is a maybe someday, maybe, maybe. And I almost would put Venom on the list just to finish my collection. But right, right now... Rogue Wolverine and Cable are the ones that I'm considering with a possibility of Carnage or Venom, but none of the rest. I don't, I don't think I'm going to tier 4 anyone else until we get more tier 4 characters out. So, anyway, that made the video much longer, but like I said, I figured I would share. Thanks for watching. Have a good one and uh, catch me on my live sometime on my streams.